that little workout clip you just saw was last night, Wednesday night, and now it is Thursday morning. I did not go work out this morning because I wanted to sleep in in bed. I feel like I started my vlog last week like this, being like, I usually do week in my life, but today's just a couple days in my life because I couldn't vlog earlier in the week, and that is the same thing this week. I am so overwhelmed with work again, and it's been a short week. We had Monday off, and it's just now Thursday, but my hours keep getting extended. I have been getting lunch breaks this week, which is different than last week, but it's an overwhelming position and I feel like I keep getting put in positions that are more overwhelming than they should be um and it's just made it hard to do like extra mental energy things even vlogging but I'm turning that around because I enjoy it so Thursday and Friday hello welcome to a work two days in my life like I said I slept in this morning I actually my hours got moved now to 8 30 to 5 30 so I have 30 extra minutes in the morning so I slept in now making some breakfast I have like a YouTube the video is done but I have to finish the thumbnail that's going up later today I'm making some good coffee for the dopamine release that it gives me and it'll be a good day on my way to school I did some things like around the apartment in my extra 30 minutes today just there's so much like loose stuff just around that doesn't have a place to go yet so it was working that out now I'm on my way to school for nine hours today it'll be good It is 5, like 45-ish, and I am back to my car, heading home. It was a fine day today. I'm starving, but I feel like I've just gotten used to my weird eating schedule now. I take a lunch break at like 2.30 every day. Brought some Chex Mix to chow down on on the way home. I am glad that I slept in this morning, but also part of me now is like, oh man, and I still have to get my workout in, but also like, what else am I doing tonight? Like it's 5.30, I'm going to bed at like 9.30, so four hours. Do we think I can fit a workout in? Maybe even some other things if we're feeling crazy. I'm a bit tired of this. 8.30 to 5.30 life. Good morning, happy Friday. It is gloomy outside this morning. We're supposed to get more rain, I think. I don't know if we're fully getting hit by like tropical storm Elsa. Like hit would be like just rain for us because we're very inland here in Atlanta because the rain has not been like that hard. It hasn't been storming. But yesterday there was just like random 10 minute times when it would just like fully downpour in a crazy way. It kind of looks like it'll be doing that kind of thing again. Today at preschool, I'm excited. Well, it's like very bittersweet, but it's one of my kids last days because he's moving and so we're having a pizza party, which will be fun. And he's been so excited about it. And so like all of the kids have been so excited about it. So I know it'll be a really fun day because of that, but also like it's his last day, which is sad. Everyone else has three more weeks after this week, which to be honest, I'm very ready for those to go on by, but I'll make the best of them. They'll be fun. I'm leaving early this morning because I am in desperate need of gas. I have put it off for about like a week <laughs> and now I have 25 miles left. There's there's the gas thing, so <laughs> going to get it now. In me. Comment what your like everyday thing that just drives you up the wall is. Cause for me it's getting gas and it's really just like not that big of a deal and it was just fine, but I just avoid it at all costs because I do not like doing it. It's done now though, full tank, doing good, but I had extra time, so I was gonna stop by a Starbucks drive through and get a Spin and Jake White and Fada like wrap because I really like those. I didn't eat breakfast this morning and there's like 18 cars in the drive through so I'm turning back around and just going to school, which I will be there early, but I don't think I have that kind of time. I don't think I have the 18 car line kind of time. You want to tell the vlog what you got? Uh, a pesto chicken wrap, I think. Is that right? I think that's right. I got an acai bowl and a smoothie that we'll share. Mmm. 
Mm. Oh, I didn't focus on yours. Should I fly in? Mm -hmm. Zoom out. Head to the smoothie. Free advertisement. I'll link your OnlyFans. Free advertisement. <laughs> Friday recap, Zach, how was your week? Pretty good. Any details? I mean, started off with celebrating America's birthday. Look, the straw's the same color as the smoothie. Are you excited that it's Friday? No. Thank you. Does that feel like Friday though? I don't think, I wanted to, but I don't think I cried about work once this week. Oh my God, amazing. Not to brag or anything, but taste test. Mm -hmm. It is good. Hey, good morning. It's actually Sunday morning right now, which will be kind of funny if I get this video up by Sunday afternoon because this is almost real time. This is as close to real time I think as we've ever gotten. But I just wanted to say that this week's vlog, I'm pretty sure was lacking again for the second week in a row. And I think that really is just because it is hard to do a work week in my life whenever it feels like the work week just, you know, consumes your soul a little bit, consumes all your energy. But I'm really trying to not let that happen. And so I'm gonna try again next week like I did this week <laughs> and maybe it'll be better maybe it won't I only have three more weeks at this job and then honestly after that then I'll give a full like comprehensive review of the summer and my work experience and everything but it's taking everything in me again to not say like I'm sorry for the bad vlogging or this like the not that much content or the you know because I don't need to be sorry I don't need to apologize but so much of me wants to yesterday however I did not talk to you because I went to Six Flags for the day which was very fun rode like I think five roller coasters got some adrenaline it was incredible and then got rained out. I'll insert some little soggy clips here so you can see just how rained out we got and then drove back got a cookout milkshake for the first time in a few months. Zach made a big old shrimp boil whenever I got back broil whatever it is. Whenever I got back, so I stuffed that inside too, and it was a really good day. But I didn't vlog any of it because I just wanted to focus on having the really good day. But before I finish out this vlog, I figured I would just give you a little like updated apartment, what it looks like, things that have gotten added, just to keep you in the loop. I will say my room, and this is probably gonna be true 90% of the time, is not at its prime right now. I will, I'm gonna vlog today in a different video, and I'm going to get that room looking in its pristine condition. Cause really just some of the stuff that like has moved in just has never found homes yet so it's just stayed on the floor because I haven't had like the mental energy to do so so have some grace still but I figured I'd give you a little update or if this is your first time seeing the apartment welcome you get to see it all just like second we're getting real dark we're in the entryway right now I'm gonna spin you around here's our shoe area we've actually added a shoe like hanger in here for shoes but that's just harder to do than just leaving them right there so got my reusable bags up there I moved this right here which I think it'll look less out of place once like it's decorated and all but the thought is that we'll get something to just like drop key He's into wallet, mask, whatever. There's baby Yoda right there, just saying hi. And then we walk this way. The guest bathroom, not too much has changed other than the addition of two towels, two decorative towels. It doesn't even have toilet paper. So if you're a guest here, I'm sorry. <laughs> The laundry room looks the exact same. Here is our table. We're planning on getting a new table just because, I don't know, I like this one. Zach doesn't like it that much though and would like a new one. And we could do a new one, just like a darker wood probably. We'll see, but that's the table for now. These shelves I'm gonna get rid of so they're just living here until I do. The kitchen, I don't think much has changed other than just like stuff having gotten put away. They'll have these flowers from Trader Joe's last weekend, which is so fun. They got like our cookbooks over here. I'll give you a little look in the pantry. The pantry is skinny, but it has a lot of room. See? Lots of room. Have some additions to the fridge. Got a drawing that I did with some preschoolers. Have Javier and Rosalia who live in Bolivia and I sponsor their school. And then if we walk into the living room, I think the TV was here last time you saw it. So TV, we think we're gonna turn it diagonal. We just haven't done that yet. This is the chair Zach likes to sit in, but we did get a couch, which is nice. Finally got a couch delivered, got it from Facebook Marketplace. We'll head into my room and then up into the loft. Yeah, honestly, I'm not even gonna turn the light on in here. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I'll give you a bigger update. Maybe this will just be your motivation to watch the video when I actually get that room cleaned up because it really just is not. Now, if you get motion sick, I'm sorry because we are about to be spiraling up a spiral staircase. Again, still my favorite part of the day is walking up and down the staircase just for the vibes. The actual walking is not that fun, not that easy, but just for the vibes. And then the loft, we have my desk over here, which 
Again, things need to find home. It looks a little cluttered. I have spider plants over here that just keep shooting out new babies. And so I need to figure out what to do with that because right now I'm just letting them hang. And I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. This rug is incredibly comfortable to sit on, to lay on. I actually got it for free <laughs> from Alabama during move out season because someone had just left it outside. And I thought, hmm, yes, I would like that rug. Cleaned it and everything. And now it is up in our loft. I think that is the entire apartment tour though like i said there's so much in me wanting to apologize again for the quality of this work week in my life but i'm not gonna apologize because it's okay i did all that i could with work being overwhelming <laughs> i'll see you next time